An emotional day for many Alaskans who are out honoring members of our military, in particular those who have given the ultimate sacrifice. Good evening, and we hope this Memorial Day has been a meaningful and peaceful one for you. Before we go to Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson for this morning's ceremony there, we begin this evening here talking about downtown Anchorage, where Johnson Coon went to the Delaney Park Strip for the city's annual Memorial Day ceremony to pay respect to those who paid the ultimate price and to hear some of those personal stories about what Memorial Day means to those who attended. Johnson. Beth, we heard a number of moving speeches today, some of which reflected on personal uh, connections to service, uh, but all reflecting on never forgetting the reason for the holiday. Memorial Day, a time reserved for remembering those who have served our country and are no longer with us. From Mayor Bronson to Governor Dunleavy, and remarks read from Senator Murkowski, many of Alaska's political figures took turns addressing the large crowd, a reminder to all who attended that freedom is never free. There is no greater honor than to serve your nation. And today we remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice in the service of their fellow Americans. For many, it's a day that often ties back to someone they were close with. And as they will tell you, it's the ultimate sacrifice that never escapes them. Tomorrow. The one thing is just never forget the fallen. That's really important because there's a lot of families out there that lost their sons or daughters or dads and uncles, you know, to war. And when you forget them, that's pretty much for naught, you know. This is always such a special ceremony, and it's just a time to really remember those people that have impacted the way we get to live today. And so I think it's really important that people come down and take a moment and, and it and, or in other ways today, to take a moment and remember those people that gave their all for us. A lot of people that we spoke with uh, say they've been attending this event for quite some time, with some spanning back as far as 20 years. And while the weather wasn't perfect, everyone said that they weren't about to let a little rain keep them from taking the opportunity to say thank you. Johnson Kuhn, Alaska's News Source.